to the four finalists from each proficiency area. Third place will receive $50. Fourth, $100. And the winner from each proficiency area oh wins $250. Here. Ohio FFA, let's get excited to welcome our proficiency finalists. Uh, on our backs to the fuel that we put into our vehicles, these next four individuals have us covered. Members of the Fibrator Oil Crop Production Proficiency Award area provide our most basic necessities and are the next generation in the food and fiber sector of the agriculture industry. Sponsored by the Ohio Soybean Council, your state finalists are in fourth place, Procedic Fairview. In third place, Space Tech Power, Fayetteville.
And I think there's and two greens.
Zadermeyer, North Union. In second place, Adam Blumenschein, Fairbanks. And our state winner, Zane Perry, from the North Horn FFA chapter. Zane is the son of Ken and Patty Perry. His SAE consists of Hampshire Breeding and Market Land Project, consisting of 14 ewes, one ram, and 26 market lands. Zane has plans to pursue mm. a degree in ag economics at the Ohio State University. The Euro University. sounds good right now. Zane's advisor is Ken Perry. <laughs> The Small Animal Production and Care Proficiency challenges members to apply best management practices and care for pets in any aspect. The Ohio FFA Foundation is proud to sponsor this award. Your finalists are, <coughs> in fourth place, Haley Hensley, Zay Trace. In third place, Zach Cronenberger, Miami East, FUCTC. In second place, Lindsey Shell, Blanchester. As part of her SAE, Cheyenne raised over 200 rabbits for both breeding and marketing purposes. In the future, she will be attending Wilmington College, double majoring in food policy and agriculture advocacy, as well as education. Cheyenne's advisor is Alex and Dana. I've done it better than anyone. The specialty in crop proficiency encourages production of unique crops, such as gourds, grass seed, and mushrooms. This award is proudly sponsored by the Ohio MFA Foundation. Your finalists are, in fourth place, Clayton Bell Lovenshine for Zane Trace. In third place, Haley Black, Sheridan. In second place, Caitlin Miley, St. Mary's. <laughs> Our state winner is Emily Timmons from the Miami East MECTC FFA chapter. Emily Timmons is the proud daughter of Robert and Kim Timmons and a senior member of the Miami East MECTC FFA chapter. Emily utilized her family's greenhouse to grow 12 different types of herbs and market the plant sales at a local farmer's market. This fall, Emily will attend the Ohio State University to study food science and technology. Emily's advisor is Marie Carity. The members who participate in the Swine Production Entrepreneurship Proficiency What's area this one? often spend countless hours learning all what? there is to know what? about their industry. From farm to table, the hard work by, put in by these individuals never fails to shine through. This award is generously sponsored by the Ohio Pork Producers Council. The finalists are, in fourth place, Taylor Feithart, West Holmes. In third place, Grace Cooper, East Clinton. In second place, Mary Grace Carson, Miami Chase. And our state winner is Wyatt Crozier from the Felicity Franklin FFA chapter. Wyatt is the son of Matt and Julie Crozier. His SAE consists of breeding sows to produce piglets to sell to farmers and local 4-H and FFA members. Wyatt plans to pursue a degree in engineering and one day own and operate his own farm. Wyatt's advisors are Holly Jennings and Joe Broadwell. Caring for pigs can be difficult, but these next members have taken on the challenge and found success. The Swine Placement Proficiency seeks to honor those members who use the best management practices in caring for hogs while working for an employer. Highwood Farms is proud to sponsor this award. Your finalists are, in fourth place, Reed Aller, St. Mary's. There's two swine ones? Jesus. In third place, No Murphy, Ridge Rocks. Second place, Jesse Olinger, Ridgewood. And our state winner is Jacob Webker from the Versailles High School chapter. Jacob Webker is a junior at Versailles High School and the proud son of Jess and Dina Webker. As part of his SAE, Jacob has recorded working over 1,200 hours on Webker Farms LLC. After hey. Order, Jacob plans to attend Wright's State Farm to make sure he has a business and then return home to the family farm. Jacob's We're meeting in front of this building at 145. Pass it down. Why do we meet at 145 here? Our next group of finalists consists of the heroes behind every well-maintained plot of land in America. The turf grass Come on, Zach. Is pursuant to 
offered to improve recreational areas, provide lawn mowing services, or manage, a, manage athletic courses through the usage of turf grass. Havlin Plastic Products is a proud to sponsor the turf grass management proficiency. Here are your top four individuals. In fourth place, Zachary Gordon, Upper Valley. Yeah. In third place, right, Evan Buter, Watch the eye. In second place, Troy Elwer, Delphus. And our state winners, Carson Iyer from the Western Valley Convention Center. Carson is the son of Barry and Mindy Iyer. His SAE consists of owning and operating a landscape service that services Busy. 42 contracted companies. As, as you can see from the beginning of this video, that was the third session for the opening ceremony, so. He'll, uh, I'll put that in the beginning of the video. Zachary Gordon, he's in landscape management for Upper Rutgers, and he got two professionals in turf management and landscape management, so we have there to cheer him on. So I'm at the I'm at the trade show right now. The so I'll uh, keep you guys informed. If I see anything cool here, I'll uh, take a video. Like I said, this ain't nearly the size like NASA mentioned it, but it's still neat. Walk around this way. I've already talked to John Deere. They gave me a bunch of stuff for Owens for college. So I'm gonna walk this way. See what they have. They have. We, resort, we can't play Kahoot, so we we'll resort to this. 